All may not be well for Infosys. CNBC TV 18 learns that the IT bellwether could go ahead and cut its top end guidance yet again, moderating expectations even further. Kritika Saxena and Reema Tendulkar are here with all the details. Kritika, first, let me come to you. So, you know, Mr. Sikha has been sounding cautious in his commentary with the analysts over various calls. What's the latest you're picking up? Well, first, let me remind you, in uh, the July quarter, Infosys had already cut its guidance uh, from 11.5 to 13.5 to 10.5 to 12 percent. That is the full year revenue growth guidance for the fiscal year 2017. Uh, that in itself was a surprise. Now, in the last couple of quarters, they have been seeing a sluggish demand environment. They have been seeing project cancellation. Add to that the pressure in the banking and financial services and insurance sector. That seems to have been a heady cocktail. And we do understand that there is a very heavy chance that Infosys may further cut its full year revenue growth guidance. Now, the guidance right now is 10.5 to 12 percent. The upper end of the guidance is likely to be revised downwards uh, but again the final call and the final numbers will be clearer and will be decided closer to the second quarter earnings so we do understand that they are perhaps looking at narrowing the guidance band in the next uh, uh, coming uh, quarter and we of course do understand that there is a team in place that is currently overseeing this having said that Infosys is putting levers into place to ensure that a long-term growth sustainability uh, chart is prepared they are splitting uh, their four verticals into multiple businesses. You'll probably see about 12 to 15 smaller business units, the streamlining operation, increasing focus on digital. So several areas are being put into place. But all these levers will look at a long-term growth chart. As far as the next one year is concerned, the overall demand environment has led to this possibility of a guidance cut. Uh, Kritika, thank you uh, very much for that. Reema, now coming to you, uh, you spoke to analysts, you've conducted a poll essentially asking them how much can the cut really be because they've cut once, they may cut twice, you definitely don't want to see a cut a third time around. So you have to give enough buffer, be conservative. Go on, what are you picking up? The street is expecting a guidance cut. In fact, we did a dipstick survey, and now the analysts are expecting that guidance, which currently stands at 10.5 to 12% in constant currency terms, could be lower to 9 to 10.5%. Um, so that's a very steep cut. And the key reason they're saying is this time the management could be a bit cautious because they would have already had to lower their guidance for two consecutive quarters for the same year, and they don't want to do it the third time around. So they could be cautious in delivering, uh, in giving out their guidance so that for sure they will be able to meet it. The street is working with a constant currency growth of 95 to 10%, uh, the actual growth by Infosys. That apart, uh, as we've been saying, the key risks include Brexit as well as BFSI. Q2 is likely to be better than Q1. Q1 was a growth of 1.7%. Q2 should be about 2.5% in constant currency term. That's because the incremental news in consulting appears to be far more positive. On margins, the guidance ban currently stands at 24 to 26 percent. The street expects Infosys to deliver at the lower end of the ban. That's between the 24 to 25 percent mark. A very slim chance of the margin ban being lowered as of now, because I don't think this, you know, the company can always use levers like productivity to prop up their margins. At the same time, when you're giving a revenue warning, you don't want to also give a margin warning and you know create panic on the street. But as of now, uh, the street is very much expecting a guidance cut and the new guidance could be anywhere between about 9 to 11 percent.